So I'm starting off the week at the Ugly Grouper. I had a burger and he had some fish. And then this is my friend Adrian. He came into town to visit me. We headed to the city jail. It was very interesting. There's like no windows, no bars. Yeah. So it was really fun just spending the day with him. And that's all we really much did. And then it was the next day. It is my last Monday on the beach. I'm gonna miss this so much. So I'm headed out for some dinner. I just want something simple. I'm so tired today. It is gonna be at the Chinese restaurant in Anna Maria Island called China One. So I am just laying on the beach. I just did some yoga and I'm out sick today. I just have like a stomach ache. I really have not, I haven't eaten yet today. I just feel so like shaky. And some dude caught a big fish down there. That's exciting. But yeah, I'm just gonna be puttering around today. It is Tuesday. Um, I have tomorrow off. Hopefully I feel better. Uh, hopefully I feel better later in today. But I do not feel good right now. So I had Chinese food last night and I think that's probably what did it. But let's hope. So let's go check out the Anna Maria City Pier Market. So the farmer's market at the pier runs every Tuesday, 8.30 a.m. to 2 p.m. And they had a bunch of fresh fruit, but I thought it was sort of crazy that they have to go so far up the island, even just to get all this fruit here. So the market was really nice. I didn't get anything because I leave this week. So I'm gonna be heading down to that little private beach that I found last week and going to be getting some seashells because I'm gonna try to make a um, something for my mom out of seashells. So. Even though I'm not feeling well, I got the shots that I wanted. I got a shot of Bean Point and Edgemont Key, which you can only get to by boat. And that is really good news for me. It was at this private beach that I showed in the last video. And so I am sweating and I'm gonna ride my bike. So this is another beach access like a couple feet away. And it is like a little tunnel all the way back. Yeah, I didn't know this beach existed. It's better than the busier beaches. Look how clear that is. This is the best beach on the island I think I've been to, which it's being point. And there's rip currents. I don't want to go too far, but look at that's Edgemont Key out there. And it's just wild out here. Like, look. It is awesome. So I am leaving one of the Bean Point Beach accesses. And let me tell you, the water is way clearer than where the beach that's near my house. So I would highly suggest if you're here, go to Bean Point. It was absolutely gorgeous. Obviously, you've seen some video clips. Got a little drone shot in. But yeah, on to the next beach. So currently, I'm at the Island Time Tiki Bar and about to grab some dinner. I was at the beach all day, which was gorgeous. I'll show you my view right now. It is my last day off on the island and the trolley is coming right now. I rode my bike to the bus station because you can put your bike on the bus. And I'm gonna go out for a couple of drinks and then head back down this way. So let's live our best lives.
Hey everyone, I just got showered and around for the day. It is Thursday, March 31st, and I actually decided I want to leave tomorrow. So, I have a long drive back to Michigan. I want to drive from Anna Maria Island all the way to Valdosta, Georgia, like I did in Sarasota. Uh, it's about four hours and 15 minutes, I checked, about 200 miles. Um, yeah, and you know what? I'm like, you know, Saturday waking up really super early and just driving Saturday and Sunday when I can, you know, leave work and get to Valdosta on Friday tomorrow and then drive all day Saturday. Literally, I'm talking 6 a.m., 6 p.m. And then I can get home and just like crash, you know, and then I'll have all day Sunday still. So that sounds more appealing to me. Um, personally, than just like puttering all the way up there when I have to get back to Michigan. And then I have a Elton John concert on that Tuesday and I'm taking half a day. So let me tell you, um, it has been an interesting, interesting thought process going through this. And I thought I was just going to split it up like on the way down, but I think I'm just going to get my ass back to Michigan. So my hair is wet. I'm waiting for it to dry. Let's have a good day today. I need to start packing, doing laundry. So, we are on a mission. So I'm hitting the beach on my final day here and the waves are crazy. So everyone, I am packing up on my Thursday night. It's a 2016 Washington Cabernet. So I'm probably going to butcher this, but I'm at Isola Bella on Anna Maria Island, and I'm currently just got a 2016 Washington Cabernet, which I had one sip, and it was smelled great. Let's talk about smell first. But I think I'm going to get the lobster um, ravioli, and then it comes with jumbo shrimp on top which just sounds delicious. And I'm like, if I'm gonna think about getting something cheaper, it's gonna be like $24. And so I'm like, if I spend like an extra $5, I'm gonna get what I really want. So, let's eat. It is 7.33 in the morning and I just left Florida. Yeah, so I've been up since 3.50 in the morning. It has been such a long drive thus far. <laughs> and I have seven more hours to get to Tennessee, so here's to hoping and praying. So I didn't record any of my travels back to Michigan, but I'm about to hit the Michigan state line and the trip is over. Goodbye.